Hello and welcome to All Sex Talk, your channel of alternative sexuality. I am Master Taino and today we are going to speak about that little conflict between the olders or elders and the TNG, the new guys, the new generation, the millennials, old and young. Apparently in our community there is some kind of rift, some kind of conflict. Um, why this happen? The main problem is that people like me, older people, a lot of them think that the young ones don't want to do it their way. They don't want to learn how to do it because we know better. That's one of the problems. And then because, in part because of it, and also because, because of nature, the younger don't trust the older people to tell them what they have to do. So there is a conflict. You got to do it my way. No, I don't want to do it your way. I want to do it my way. And also that brings that myth of old guard and new guard. Uh, the old guard is supposed to be, it's a myth, and first of all, I don't believe in it. But it's supposed to be the right way that the elders used to do it um, uh, after World War II and all that stuff. That's a myth. But a lot of people use that. Like, I am old guard. I know how to do the leather sex and the BDSM and the mastery slave. Um, I remember, it's an anecdote I will never forget. I remember when I joined the community many, many, many years ago, uh, I was asked, and more than once, um, are you old guard or new guard? I'm honest, at the time I didn't know what they were talking about. But just using a little bit of common sense, you could figure out that they were talking about the old ways of doing things and the new ways of doing things. And based on that, my answer was, I am not old guard, I'm not new guard. I am my guard. What I meant with that is, I want to do things for me, my way, the things that, the way that works for me, the, the way they give me pleasure, the way I enjoy them, the way I want to do it. Nobody has to tell me this is the right way or this is the wrong way. And uh, so obviously we all learn from other people. I'm not, I'm not saying this guy and everything, but it's, it's, it's we create our relationships and we create our scenes, our play in the dungeon, in, the B, in BDSM with things that we like. We're not forced to do things uh, the, the way that other uh, people think. So the problem is that older people think that their way is the best way. It has to do done that way. And things that they resent with the guys that for some time now, are doing is starting with the type of clothing. Oh, they're not wearing leather. They're wearing neoprene. They're wearing rubber. They're wearing uh, a sport uniform. They're wearing a wrestling uh, singlet. And so what? If they want to wear those things, it's okay. We don't have to like it, but it's okay. They like it. You know, young people are more into, into what is... Uh, uh, it's any style. We older people usually don't care about that. You know, I, when I was younger, I dressed a lot of leather. Now I barely wear leather except when I go to something formal or, a, or an event. So that is part of the, of the issue. And the TNGs resent being told what is good for them. That's typical from young people, having with parents and children. Children don't want, they listen to the parents, but they don't want necessarily to do it the way their parents want. And that is okay. That's the nature of the beast. So how we solve this conflict? Easy. I always have to tell the following. We, the olders or elders or whatever you seniors, whatever you want, the experienced one, any way you want to call us, we have the responsibility to teach to teach the younger crowd what we have learned, what we have done without arrogance. Okay, boy, girl, this is what I did. This is what worked for me. 
this is information that I learned. Take it, it's yours. But then do whatever you want with them. That's the difference. We have to allow them to take the information that we give them and then decide how they want to use it. And they may pick and choose. They may like something and uh, do, do, do it their way. I think the most important thing for them is to take the principle, who is probably the most important, and then apply any way they want. So the young one's responsibility is to listen, to learn, to absorb that information, and then decide how they want to implement, how they want to do it, what works for them. Not only, we could have the experience, but you know what? I like the way a lot of millennials, a lot of young people are expanding themselves in the way they do things. I, there was a phrase that I always like. We give, and it was referring to children, but we could apply to this. We give our children roots and wings. Meaning, we give them the basics, the values, the knowledge, and then we give them the wings for them to fly with them, whatever they want to do. They have the freedom to do that. Okay, that is uh, what I have for today. Short uh, video, I hope you like it. But I wanted to establish the difference and to give the advice to both the elders and the youngers, okay? Well, subscribe to the, to the channel. Contact me if you have any questions or suggestions. Uh, regarding, remember, you could contact me in Fed Live uh, or Facebook under my name, Master Taino. I'll see you next time.